We'll turn to our forecast. It is hot out there. Oh, you know, my, it is. Yeah, it's hot, yeah. but the average high for this time of the year, 92, we're hovering right around 97, 98 degrees each day. Okay. So it's about six degrees above average. Mm -hmm. It can get a lot hotter. True. Now, next week, I think we start getting hotter. Oh, yeah. wow. Because the, I'll show you why, folks. The high pressure is uh, expected to get stronger. But when you look at this time lapse video, what we see is little shades of different angles of sunlight occurring and there you see a little smoke cruising across the region but this is just an incredibly dry incredibly stagnant pattern that we're in right now with temperature readings again pushing into the upper 90s here in the treasure valley we're currently 95 degrees in boise same goes for caldwell ontario very uniform temperature readings and look at mccall 83 stanley 83 and sun valley is 88 degrees right now so where's the monsoon moisture it's trapped down here to the south so as you look on the Doppler radar, stretching from central California where they're dealing with fires, rain around Yosemite would be nice, thunderstorms they don't want to see. Scattering of showers and isolated thunderstorms across southern central Nevada, down into southern Utah as well. Any one of these lines of showers or thunderstorms can ignite additional fires. For right now, most of that moisture is going to stay to the south of us. However, what is going to happen is that the high pressure that's hanging out here across the southern half of the Great Basin is strong. But watch what happens with it over the next few days. The models have that high pressure ridge getting even stronger. And as the high gets stronger, it's like dialing up the heat on the oven. The stronger the high, the hotter the temperatures get and the temperatures are expected to approach 101 to 102 degrees going into next week. So it's gonna be hotter next week, so we're just basically gonna keep this pattern going with no real significant changes other than we may see some occasional high thin clouds cruising by. So on the future cast tomorrow, there you see little bits and pieces of high clouds and looking ahead towards Saturday, generally a dry pattern. Again, a few occasional high thin cirrus clouds lightly filtering the sunshine. I think that's about as much help as we're going to get as far as the heat is concerned. Seven day forecast for the valley tomorrow, 98 degrees on Saturday. Some of those high clouds cruise by about 97 on Sunday, down to about 96. Then the high pressure intensifies on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday as it does. There you can see those temperatures hitting 100 and one degrees here by the middle of next week could get a little bit hotter. We'll have to see how the high pressure sets itself up. And for the uh, mountains up in the Long Valley, again, mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Some occasional high thin clouds cruising by on Saturday and Sunday. But if you got any outdoor activities in the backcountry, I'd say you are go for launch right now. Everything looks great. But up there in McCall in the Long Valley, temperature readings by the middle of next week could easily approach 90 degrees, which is kind of toasty up there. So you got a little cloud yeah. over the mountains for Saturday and Sunday, just a little tiny one. Just no chance of rain. Little high thin cirrus clouds. Like if you step outside, you'll see some of those high thin cirrus clouds. Not going to produce by. any rain. No, the, yeah. uh, most of the moisture, the the thunderstorm bearing moisture, is expected to remain to the south. Down to the south. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Roland. You bet.